Okay, I've got the exact same schedule as I did week two, because that seemed to work out pretty good. I mean, our grades are going up, stats are going up, so... I mean, I guess we'll just keep it at that for now, and, uh, yeah, see what week three brings us. Maybe it's a little more calm. Taking care of business every day. Oh, an event on Tuesday. One of the best parts of living on campus like this is being able to come back for lunch. It's nice to just make my own food once in a while. I've got my mind on a nice sandwich as I enter the Latin house. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Welcome home. Have you decided to cast away the classes of the day? Uh, wh what? Rakesh, what are you doing? Rakesh is standing in the common area completely covered in paint. He doesn't look like he's wearing a shirt. Or much of anything else for that matter. What? This? Oh, I think I finally found the ultimate paintbrush. Come see my room. The idea struck me and I had to try it. Is your room the only place you tried it? Mm hmm. Oh yes, I thought my walls would be the best place to try it. Is... Is that paint safe to be on skin? Well, paint can cover many things. Why not a body? Aren't... Um... Aren't some paints toxic to skin? Oh, I should probably clean off. Um, could you... Um, never mind. Rakesh takes off upstairs with a slightly worried look on his face. I'll just let him deal with that for right now. Rakesh is sweet, but he is definitely not all there. Also, I don't know how much clothing he had on, and I'd rather not be surprised by, by that. Dominic is going to go nuts. I hope Rakesh can get cleaned up in time, but I just can't take the time to help, because I'm not in his route. A quick lunch, and I'm out of the house, quick as I can. The weird thing is that I didn't act really hear any water running, just some weird thumping from the bathroom. I guess we'll find out what that is at some point. Another event. Just another day as I head out the door for my classes. Oh, good morning, Anne. Sally, good morning. On your way to class as well? Looks like Sally left just before I did. I jog a bit to catch up with her as we make our way towards campus. Actually, I've got to get down to the farming garden. My boss wants me to get some serious weeding done and I don't want to be there all day. Oh yeah, you work there, don't you? How'd you land that job? My dad runs a vegetable farm. It seemed like a pretty natural way to make some money aside from my scholarships. I actually started there over the summer. Helped me make some moving in money. That does make a lot of sense. How hard is that job to do? It sounds like a lot of fun. Well, it's a pretty active job. There's a lot of running around or hard labor to be done. I've got a day of weeding ahead of me, for instance, and that's not easy at all. Get used to running around and keeping yourself in shape. We can teach you how to garden properly, but if you don't have the stamina to keep up, you'll never get a job there. Well, I can certainly try to be active. There you go. It might not seem related, but the football team needs a water person. It'll definitely get you up on your feet keeping up with those guys. And the thing is, our farm doesn't have a good automatic irrigation system, so you'll probably find yourself running around the farm watering the plants like you would the football players. That sounds like a lot of fun. I may look into it. You definitely should. Oh, well, thank you, Sally. We've almost made it to the main buildings. I'm just about to ask where Sally and I will split up when I notice that we're actually right in front of the campus cafe. Speaking of work, isn't this where Isabella works? We both look inside the window to see Isabella shuffling around the relatively busy cafe, one plate in her hand. Just as we're looking in, though, she looks out. As soon as she spots us, she beams and waves us over with her free hand. I guess she's forgiven us for the episode with Dominic last week. <laughs> Sally waves back and starts to walk towards the door. Isabella walks the plate over and puts it down in front of a large man in a jersey. Looks like Chad is here too. What a coincidence when we were just talking about the football team. Hey Anne, you coming? Sally's already at the door looking back at me. I look at my watch quickly. I might have time to make it to class if I keep the conversation short. I don't know if I want to risk it though. 
Um. I don't. <sighs> sure. Why not? No, I came here to make friends, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm coming. Morning, Isabella. Oh my goodness. What are you on, man? <laughs> Whew, look at the veins. Morning, ladies. Have a seat. I'll be with you in a second. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sally's just like, get out of my way, Anne. <laughs> there are enough people here that one of the only tables available is over next to Chad. We take a seat and Sally leans over to introduce herself. Hi there, you must be Chad? Yeah, that's me. And who are you two pretty ladies? We're Isabella's roommates. I'm Sally. And... Chad's looking us over like he's trying to memorize us for a test later. I quickly look over at the menu board, wondering if there's anything good to drink. Pleasure to meet you. Isabella's mentioned you guys. Sally nods happily and then sits down facing me. She subtly points at Chad and then rolls her eyes. I can't help but giggle a little. <laughs> Let me get you some breakfast or something, Anne. We haven't had much chance to hang out yet. Oh, that's okay. I had breakfast earlier. I'm not really hungry. What can I get for you girls? I'll have a soy latte. What about you, Anne? Um, can I get an Americano? Coming right up. Seriously, let me get you something. I saw your idea. Breakfast. One cup of yogurt? What? Were you were you watching me? Maybe it's silly to be self-conscious about your eating habits, but there you go. Oh, please. I saw you eating on my way. Am I wrong? Well, no. Not really. Still, it's enough for me in the morning. No way is that enough. You've got to keep your strength up. Are you on a diet or something? Maybe Anne's just like me. I don't eat much of anything in the morning. I usually don't eat until, like, afternoon or something. No, not, uh, not really. I just like to watch what I'm eating, I guess. Trust me, you've got nothing to worry about, Anne. You're doing fine. I'll second that. I've been checking you out, and I'd say you're a grade-A fine cut. You look damn good, girl. Oh, dear. I can't help but blush at the idea that this guy's been checking me out. Oh dear. Oh, is that so? If she's a grade A, then what am I? Oh no. Isabella heard that. She puts our coffees down on our table hard. Maybe I should have skipped out. Um, I didn't... I mean... Oh, you're fine, Anne. It's this meathead who's in trouble. Chad is sitting there looking defiantly at Isabella like he's done nothing wrong. I don't know if that's defiant. That looks more worried. Isabella looks like she's going to flay him alive. Sally looks like she wants nothing to do with this. Chad does deserve some trouble. He's been acting creepy since we got in. Then again, I don't want Isabella to get in trouble for yelling at a customer, even if the customer is her boyfriend. Maybe I should change the subject so they don't argue? Or maybe I should do the yelling so she doesn't have to? Ah. Uh... Compliment Isabella or scold Chad? I don't know. If I was in Anne's shoes, I'd be just like, Isabella, you're an A++ because you are the best. <laughs> I w would definitely not scold Chad, so we'll try this. Oh, we got some uh, relationship with Isabella. Oh, that's good. I definitely don't want to seem, regardless of who starts it. Time to change gears. I haven't really gotten to see you working in that outfit much, Isabella. Looks good on you. Isabella rolls her eyes at Chad, who just chuckles at it before going back to his own meal. Thank thanks, Anne. I actually made some modifications to it on the sly. Don't tell my boss, okay? She winks at me as she goes back to working at the counter. Whew. So, how are classes going, Anne? Pretty good, actually. I think I've got a good handle on the course load. How about you? Oh, I've got a few sociology classes this quarter, and it's kind of getting to me. Do you need any help studying? I'd be glad to go over stuff with you. I don't really know a lot about the subject, though. Oh, I'd appreciate that. 
If I get really stuck, I'll let you know. Sally and I continue to discuss our classes for a while, going over varying studying techniques. Luckily, Chad leaves us alone for the rest of the conversation. Whew. Isabella even drops by a few times to check up on us and join in when she can, though it's obvious she's not that great at studying. I watch Isabella as she goes about her duties, making sure she's not still mad. I can tell where she's made the alterations to her uniform. It definitely makes it a lot more risque. At one point, she starts cleaning off a table across from me, and I can't help but notice that her skirt comes almost to her putt when she leans forward like that. Maybe if I was as toned as her and had such nice legs, I wouldn't mind showing off my body like that either. Did you need something then? Oh no, I must have been staring. She's coming over. Carefully you don't go blind staring too long, hun. I feel the heat in my cheeks as Isabella winks at me and walks away. She swishes around the corner, making her skirt flare up, giving me another view. I can hear Chad choke on his drink for a moment. <laughs> what did she say? What? Oh, uh, nothing. Sally arches an eyebrow at me, but lets it go as we gather up our coffee and head out the door. Thanks for hanging out with me, Anne. We should do it more often. Definitely. Thanks for the coffee. We smile and wave goodbye to each other as we go our own way. I'll admit I'm a little distracted thinking about what Isabella did. I don't think she was that upset with me. I don't really have time to think that hard about it, though. It's time for class, and I need to concentrate. So I'll drink some water while I do that. <laughs> so that's Chad. Three tasks. Uh, I need to study. Oh, it's nice to get the place to myself once in a while. The house is quiet tonight. Dominic is at a housing authority meeting that should take most of the night. Isabella's out with Chad. Rakesh... Rakesh wandered out the door earlier in the evening, wearing all black and holding a paint roller. I have no idea what he's up to, and I don't think I want to know. Sally's at a sit-in on campus, protesting some guy's illegal imprisonment. I didn't ask too many questions about him. Sally tends to rant. At any rate, the house is mine for the night. I've got a bit of studying to do, but once I'm done, it'll be nice to use the big communal TV to watch whatever I want. A nice sappy movie or something. I grab a stack of the house's DVDs and look them over on my way to the kitchen. Grab a light snack for my study period and figure out what I want to watch. Oof! Oh. Whoa, sorry, Anne. Didn't see you there. Are you okay? I can't believe I just ran into Max. Wait, Max, Isabella, Dominic, Rakesh, Sally. Oh my god, I forgot about Max. Oh jeez, I um didn't know you were still here. Yeah, hey, I thought I had the place to myself too. I guess it's just you and me then? Yeah. First I forget about Max and then I run into him. Sheesh, I am so embarrassed. Um, I was... I was going to study in my room for a bit, but then... Maybe we should hang out? Eat dinner or something? This was just kind of a snack. I'd feel terrible if you thought I'd forgotten all about him. Sure, sounds like fun. This is a little awkward. We didn't get off to the best start. Okay, see you back down here in an hour or so. Hopefully when we get back together, it won't be so bad. What? But... I don't want to do it, but I feel terrible about skipping it. Ah. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Max. I... Well, this sucks, but I need to skip it, because otherwise there's going to be, like, nothing to see on your route. As I study, it hits me that I'm offering to hang out alone with the house's most notorious male flirt. I wonder if he took this to mean something more. I wonder if I took it to mean something more. <sighs> Oh, this is too terrible. I don't know what he expects to happen or what I expect to happen. Is this a date of some kind? No, no, don't be ridiculous, Anne. Focus on Dominic. Maybe I'm building it up too much in my head, but it's weighing pretty heavy on me. No, I can't do it. It would just be too awkward. I head over to Max's room. I've got the perfect excuse prepared. I have to do more studying. It's true, technically. Plus, I can always find more studying to do. 
I stand outside of Max's room, hemming and hawing for three or four minutes before I finally hear a soft snore from inside. Pushing open the door, I look inside to see Max laid out on his bed. He's got his guitar in one hand as he sprawls there. He must have fallen asleep pretty soundly. It wouldn't be right to disturb him, especially not just so we could stand around being awkward at each other for an hour. It's probably for the best. I head back to my room and, as it turns out, actually get some more studying done before I also head to bed for the night. Uh, okay. At least we didn't have to be rude to him. <laughs> Level up! Please insert new book. Hmm. Not much of anything really happened there. Maybe we can start another week. I think I can get rid of one of my... One of my sleeps. Maybe I can exchange that for studying. There we go. Study, play chess, study, play chess, study, play chess, study. <laughs> oh, sure. Let's try that. Learning stuff. <laughs> Who's awesome? I'm awesome. I love that reference. I love it. Oh, it's nice sometimes to just relax in the common room with a book. Sally's here reading, too. Don't mind me, ladies. Gotta get some stuff out to my van. I'll just be back and forth a couple times. No problem. Sally looks out after him as he goes to the van. I can't help but wonder about it, too. So, have you ever heard his band? No, not his actual band. Though I heard him singing the other day at school. Yeah, me neither. Hey, we should see if we can go along. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I've never had the chance to see a real band practicing before. I don't know if we should intrude, though. Maybe we should just let it go? Where's the fun in that? Come on, put your stuff away and we'll just ask. Max comes in and out a few more times while we clean up our things. Okay, that's about it. I'm out, ladies. Make sure Dominic knows not to call the cops if I get home late, okay? Actually, Max, we had an idea. Would you mind if we came along with you? We've never seen a band practicing like this before. We thought it would be nice. Hey, listen, the guys are always happy to show off for a beautiful lady. So I'm fine if you two want to show up. Does one of you have a car you can follow in? I don't actually own a car. This town's pretty well laid out for college students. Honestly, I only know a few people who even have cars. I think Dominic has one for going to meetings? I know I don't have a car. Well, crap, that's a problem. I only have enough room in the van for one. Aww, we hadn't thought of that. Yeah, that sucks. How will we, de how will we decide who goes? I don't know, is naked mud wrestling off the table? Oh my goodness. Stop that, Max. <laughs> what do you think, Anne? I don't know if I want to hurt Sally's feelings by insisting. I mean, I'm pretty interested. Still, I could always back out. Um, well... I'll skip it. You two have fun, you crazy kids. No, it's not worth the trouble it would cause. I kind of felt intrusive about it anyway. Well, you said someone needed to tell Dominic that you'd be home late, right? I don't mind hanging out. Really, Anne? That'd be really sweet of you. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Oh, geez, actually, I just remembered. I have to pick up Memphis on my way to practice. Crap, I'm sorry, ladies. I can't actually take either of you. Max, that's terrible. You got us all excited for nothing. Look, I gotta go, but I'll make it up to you, okay? Max leaves with a wink, and Sally and I give each other exasperated looks. Ugh. Jerk. I know. Let's go TP his room. What? I couldn't... Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. We teach that jerk a toilet paper related lesson about messing with the ladies of Latin House. Even though I was a little worried about Dominic finding out. When he did, he got the whole house together and we all TP'd the room together. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Dominic. It's so nice when roommates can bond. I love it. I love it. Oh. Oh no. This will not stand. Do you hear me? Oh dear.
I guess someone's upset Dominic again. I wish that was less common around here. I wonder what happened this time. I poke my head around the corner to see Dominic yelling at Isabella and Rakesh. What is this crap? You've all known about the inspection tomorrow for two weeks now. Am I just talking to myself at our meetings? To be honest, yes. I agree that you may be speaking more to yourself than us. Will you two shut up and clean this travesty? Hey, I had things to do tonight. But we worked so hard to arrange the room properly. Isabella, your plans are cancelled effective immediately. Rakesh, you'll be damn lucky if I can convince them that all the paint around here is for an art class. This is all beside the point. Mouths shut. Commence cleaning. Wow, I've never seen Dominic this mad before. He did warn us about the dorm inspection happening early tomorrow morning. <laughs> Even Max managed to shove all his stuff into his closet. I'm not sure what kept Isabella. I guess I could offer to help them clean. Though they'd probably just think I was being a busybody. Maybe I should s just stay out of it. I kept my part of the house clean. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. No, I think it's best if I just stick to studying. I don't think I want people to think I just stick my nose into everyone's business after all. Besides, I don't really want to clean other people's messes. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, sleep, sleep, sleep. Going to class. Okay, today is the day. I guess. I don't know what day. I've been waiting for the book sale down at the university store over ever since I saw the flyer two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Sorry, choking on something. Ahem. <clears throat> there we go. Ahem. <clears throat> this is going to be a fantastic sale. I'd be stupid not to take advantage. I've even got my extra large reusable shopping bags. Unfortunately, I've been too busy to learn the bus routes yet. Hopefully Dominic will know. Luckily, he's at the dining room table. Do you know which bus goes by the downtown bookstore, Dominic? What? Um, the 27, I think. Why? Yeah, what's up at the bookstore? Oh, Max, I didn't see you there. Big sale today. Great chance to pick up books on the cheap. Thanks for the info. I head for the door to hopefully get to the bus stop in time. And wait. What? What is it? Oh, um, yes? Seriously, it's okay. I've got a car. I can take you. It's got to be better than lugging your belongings on a bus. Yeah, I've got a van. It's not a big deal to take you down. Plenty of room in the back for all the books you can carry. Or you could go with someone who might actually appreciate the books you're looking at. Wink. <laughs> or you could take a ride with someone who hasn't named the stick out their ass because they're thinking of introducing it to their parents. What? Oh, it's... Um, it's really not a big deal. I'm fine with taking the bus, really. And please, we're your friends. Let me give you a ride. It's fine. I agree. Let me give you a ride down. It'll be great. I... Uh... I don't know if they're fighting over me or just fighting each other. Either way, I have to admit it would be a whole lot easier to deal with my books in a car. Um... Are you sure it's not an inconvenience? Definitely not. Now that I know about the sale, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I won't lie. It's nice having boys throw themselves at me. I'd feel bad about taking advantage of it, but... They seem so insistent, after all. And it really is more convenient. I guess I should go with one of them. But which one? Dominic, obviously. Well, okay, Dominic, since you insist. Excellent. Let me bring my car around and we'll head out. Max looks a little disappointed, but I think it might be more because he lost to Dominic than anything else. He shrugs and goes back into the kitchen, where he belongs. I wave goodbye anyway and head out to meet up with Dominic. Yay, shopping together. So what are you looking to buy? Well, obviously I've got all my books for this quarter, but I'm thinking of getting myself set up for next quarter. I knew you were a good planner, Anne. 
That's a really good idea. Like I said, now that I know about the sale, there are some books I'm looking forward to grabbing myself. We chat about the differences in our course loads. Dominic's got a lot of really heavy classes, being on track to his master's degree. Once we get to the bookstore, we both go into shopping mode. Dominic's almost as into it as I am. Both of us hunt through the store looking for good deals on good books. Ooh, this will be a big help for you next quarter if you have Professor Tillman. Excellent. Oh, is this a book you needed for your abstract algebra? Perfect. Dominic and I make our way through the crowded store with efficient ease. Now that we know more about each other's curriculum goals, it's easy to be on the lookout for books the other needs. We actually talk very little, except to tell each other about a book we found. Before I know it, we're back in the car on our way back home. My three bags are full, and Dominic's picked up a bag of his own. Thanks for bringing me, Dominic. That was really efficient. I think we picked that place clean in record time. It was my pleasure, Anne. I think you're definitely going to be set for the coming quarter. And probably the next several quarters at that. Definitely. I had fun, Dominic. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I did too. I'm glad you told me about this, Anne. We'll, uh, have to do something like this again sometime. Well, he definitely seems pleased. Though I think he's more pleased that I'm being such a good student than anything else. Oh, well, I've got a ton of new books to go through when I get back, and I didn't break the bank at the sale. Score! And we got Dominic points. Double score! Vampire lovers? What? I'm awesome! Studying all the time. Oh, I'm actually getting low on energy. Wow, I can't believe it's already Halloween. It's already Halloween? I've been so busy with classes, I've barely had time to even think about Halloween. Isabella told me about this party two weeks ago, but I hadn't even thought of it until a couple days ago. Hey Anne, are you ready yet? Come on, we've got to get there by eight. I... I can't do it. What? Come on, Anne, what's the problem? I... I just don't know if I can... How can I? What happened? I didn't get to the costume store until last night. This is all they had left. I can't wear this. What did I get? Isabella looks at the costume hanging on a hook from my closet and just laughs. <laughs> oh, honey, you have to wear that. I mean, you have to. No way, you can't ask me to do that. Come on, how are you going to break out of that shell if you never put yourself out there? Trust me, you want an icebreaker. That costume will break the ice and their brains. They see you in that, they'll be putty in your hands. Ugh, I can't. Look, I don't have time to argue with you, hon. You should do it. Meanwhile, I'm going to call Chad and let him know I'm on my way. I'm out in five minutes, so don't be late, okay? Isabella leaves, dialing her cell phone. I can't believe I waited until the last minute to pick out an outfit. I don't know if I can stand being seen like this. And Isabella's teasing me already, saying I'll have people being putty in my hands? Sheesh. I guess I might look okay in it. I just don't know. Well, apparently I don't have to do this event on Dominic's route. Oh, I guess we should do it, shouldn't we? No. Uh. We'll do it. Uh. We'll do it next time. No way. I just can't do it. There's no way I can wear an outfit for that revealing out in public. Isabella's gone, so I just close and lock my door. I've got classes on Monday anyway. I should be studying. I'll be doing it in the next two playthroughs anyway. So, we'll get to see it then. I don't know how big the Halloween thing is, but I do know, um, like I heard that Dominic is not involved with that Halloween party at all, so what's the point, really? <laughs> uh, oh, well. Next time.
next time Halloween.